Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we are going to work on our green roof, kind of take a break from all the work on the inside and all the major stuff and do something a little bit different on top. So we have this green roof here. It's all grass. I mean, technically you could leave it like that if you're in a uh, crunch for some time, but if you find yourself that you kind of want to do something a little bit different, we can, uh, we can do that. So in order to do anything to the green roof, uh, as far as like maybe you want to put like a, a different material in, we're, ba we're just going to paint the surface. It's the easiest way to do it. So how we're going to go into that is if we go up along the top here and let's see. So we can click on a surface. I'm just showing here. Let, there we go. We click on that surface. You can see that we have a number of things. We could split the face and then we can also paint. And that's essentially what we're going to do here. So click on the roof, go to split face. So now we can click right on here and we can add into that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the top view right here like that. And now I have that face. Uh, this over here, I'm, the wall is hidden in view. I don't really need it though, so I don't really care. So I know that my doors in this region right here so I could add things like, I don't know. You can go pretty much at any shape you want. I'll add like something like this. Just gonna do a design here. Something like that. Okay, cancel. So now those faces are split. Check. Oh, uh, okay, so you can have to only do one loop at a time. So, go continue. So what I'll do is I'll just delete those, like that, hit check. All right, so that's one face. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna do the same thing now, I'm gonna do multiple zones. Maybe I'll do a little bit better of a design too. So split face, I'll just save that. Split face, all right, so make sure we go back. selected now I can go draw in maybe I'll come to I don't know like that I'm not doing anything perfect here you can if you want it's up to you check so that's another face I go in back into split face you can do this basically as many times as you want I'll do whoa, let's see oh, it's not the shape I want Maybe I'll do an ellipse. I don't like where I put it. There we go. And let's do, I'm just gonna do one more, just so you can see how it works out. Circle. Did not like whatever I was doing. There we go. Whole face is selected. We'll do a circle. Right there. Done. All right, so once you have your shapes, now you can apply a paint to them. So the easiest way is you can click on it, go up over here to the paint tool, click on it, and then you find something that you may want. So if it's so let's see, concrete. So we can go concrete and they have like lightweight and precast. So let's go like lightweight, click on it. Then you come back and you apply it to that. So that would be like a concrete little patio. If there's nothing here you like, you then have to create one, which is easy enough. We can go to manage materials. So now it brings up basically everything that was just there. Create a new one, so create new material. Um, give it a name, so identity. We'll call it stone. Graphics, use render appearance. Appearance. And then we gotta go click this little, replace this asset. So let's type in um, stone. Let's see what comes up. So now we have all these. So they have like even like field stone, pea stone, all this other stuff. So I'm actually gonna go with um, blue stone. I'm gonna do that. 
when you go to bluestone, click the little double arrow next to it. It should change your thing. There it is. Hit apply. Okay. So now when I go back into clicking on this, go to paint, look for my blue stone, wherever it was. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Stone. Named it. Click like that. And then you can just go right on through. And actually, I'll change that. So now I have blue stone there. Yeah. So it changed that appearance. And if we change the view to, well, it's on realistic right now, you can see that's there. Now, if you want to add plants, it's relatively straightforward to do as well. Um, you can add other features like benches and stuff up there. Go to massing and site. So now you're going to add in a site component here. So what you need to do is change these defaults. Now I was playing around with them before, so I have it. So I'm going to do a constraint to the roof the offset we're going to need to change remember this floor or this height is up a certain amount i think it was like one foot five inches so like 1.5.5 right and now you can see let's see shift oh i'm on the roof sorry we got to change this to second floor structure Level two. There it is. I saw it there. Let's click it in the place. There you go. So it's level two with that offset. So then you can put plants in. Now, if the plants are not there, so if you go site component and you click and you see like, all right, there's only a few things, uh, you're going to have to load these in. So you would go to load family. All right. And we'd go to planting. So you can go down to P. And these are all different ones. So you can actually, if you want to, you could just load them all in. So you have them. And now you can pick whatever it is that you want. So say like I want like a couple like dogwood trees in here, change that level to level two, correct offset. Mine was one, 5.5, apply. And there you go. Now technically, there you go you can have a little tree on top of your green roof. So there's the tree. Let me just change this over to shaded. So it's just a little bit easier, see? So it's two trees, they could be in planters. And if we wanna add something else, let's see, architecture. We can go to component. Looks like you can do it in through component. So there's a bunch of other stuff. There we go. These are all the other things in. Say we want a bench. I believe benches are gonna be under site and accessories. So if you want a bench, click bench, open. Same thing, so you're gonna have to go to, to level two, offset it, one. Now your offset may be different, So now there's benches. Um, I'm just gonna add in some sort of uh, shrubs. Just so we have a couple of things around. Now see, like I didn't change my offset. So let's delete those out. Level two, one, five point five. There they are. Just and same thing. Well, that's it. All right. So that, and if we go to realistic, see how it looks. We could even take this camera and go on to level two. I'm gonna offset it six feet so it's a little bit higher. Click. 
drag, let's see what shows up. So it shows that right there. Looks a little weird. I'm surprised it didn't show. Let's move this out. There we go. You can see the bush. Kind of cut. It got weird cut off. I don't know what happened there. So it looks like it got tweaked out a little bit, but you can kind of get the idea that you can use the camera to go in and check it. Or, oh, there we go. Look at that. So it showed up. So that's how you can adjust what's on your uh, green roof. There we go. Pretty neat. All right. So I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, relatively straightforward. You can go as far as you want with this. And, um, Really, you can go crazy. When you're trying to do it, do it in shaded only because in the shaded view, it's a little bit easier to see, uh, to move around, and then you can always click on realistic like that. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video on editing uh, the surfaces for the green roof and to try to get something there that looks uh, a little bit more pleasing. All right, take care, bye.